Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about type 1 and type 2 diabetes exercise. Also don't forget to check out the link below, to find out, how this guy reversed his diabetes. Turns out, the diabetes industry is selling us fake research. But back to our topic. Regular exercise is a key factor in a successful plan of treatment for managing diabetes. For type 1 and type 2 diabetes, exercise can have a positive impact by making the body produce insulin and process glucose more efficiently. The risk of developing sure known complications of diabetes such as circulation problems, hypertension and heart disease are all reduced significantly when exercise is part of the picture. Type 1 and Type 2 are the most common kinds of diabetes. They differ in many ways, primarily in the manner insulin is produced. People with Type 1 diabetes are unable to produce insulin at all while people having Type 2 diabetes can usually produce insulin on the other hand not in sufficient amounts. Type 1 affects primarily children and young adults and Type 2 typically strikes older adults. The main problem in both kinds of diabetes is the increase in body sugar levels as a result of the body no longer being capable of directing sugar from the bloodstream into the cells. With both types of diabetes, the combination of exercise, medications and appropriate dietary choices are helpful to scale back blood sugar levels. Exercise is useful for the management of diabetes by assisting the body in maintaining insulin sensitivity. Exercise may be crucial for keep to appropriate weight goals and to help the muscles better utilize sugar. All these things combine to lower blood sugar and improve overall well-being conditions. Type 2 diabetes can actually be prevented if people are serious about changing their dietary plans, reducing their weight, and improving their overall lifestyle in general. They can make those goals at all possible by exercising continually, controlling their weight, improving their eating habits, reducing stress, and supplementing their diet with vitamins and recommended herbs. You do not need an advanced workout to derive the benefits. Easily walking briskly around the neighborhood every day for about 30 minutes allow get your heart pumping and your blood sugar may commence going down. For type 1 and type 2 diabetes exercise can also improve insulin sensitivity and assistance in reducing the danger of complications associated with diabetes. One of the greatest benefits of exercise for the diabetic is that blood circulation and blood pressure allow improve. Circulatory problems plague plenty of diabetes sufferers, so getting the blood flow going is bound to help prevent foot and nerve problems. Diabetics will experience a few minor dangers when exercising, but the overall benefits minimize any dangers. You will wish to make sure that your blood sugar levels do not drop too low during and after exercising. One way to stop against this from occurring is to have a light snack prior to exercising and possibly after to maintain proper blood sugar levels. You'll need to monitor your heart rate as well and pay strict attention to whether you are feeling shaky, nausea or weak. Carry a fruit drink or some glucose tablets with you to boost your blood sugar if necessary. When it comes to your health, you must not take any chances. You want appropriate information and you want it right away. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.